under international law and EU law, the EU has a responsibility, a legal obligation to respect, to protect and to fulfill human rights in all external policy areas and that includes trade policies. So the first step uh, to make sure that human rights are not violated through trade policies would be to identify what are the threats. Impact on gender, people's access to food, it's going to affect small businesses, so it's going to affect your right to a livelihood. All these aspects have to be looked at separately under the Sustainable Impact Assessment, but maybe also under the Human Rights Chart. One cannot separate our trade from what its potential impacts are going to be on the rights of citizens in another country. And coming to India, for instance, we are talking about 70% of our population who are dependent about their small and marginal farmers, they, they largely belong to the informal sector, the unorganized sector, and none of the free trade agreement impact assessments have actually looked at the human rights violations which are going to occur on these citizens. The UN Special Rapporteur to the Right to Food, uh, Olivia de Schutter, has designed and come out with an extremely critical and important set of guiding principles which actually sets out a path as to how you can really carry out such a human rights impact assessment. You know, retail has been a major, it's a real controversial issue in India and EU wants access to these sectors where we think that, you know, if big European investment comes in with very strong protection rights under the investment chapter then it will actually threaten millions of jobs and we do see that as a, a violation of their rights. So we're asking the Commission and the Parliament to please consider the studies that have been done, the workshops that have been held, the research. It all shows that the impacts on the Indian civil society and also on some aspects of European civil society could be negative. We cannot sign those uh, documents unless we know that it's not going to have a negative impact. In the end, the European Parliament or even India could reject the agreement. If it turns out that uh, the way that the agreement is designed would threaten human rights, that could be a, a conclusion not to accept and not to ratify such an agreement.